Good evening, YouTubes. All the people out there who might come across this video. Um, tis the season for gift giving, you know? I figure uh, from personal experience, I might be able to shed some light on things that have truly uh, helped me in my day-to-day -day life. And from personal experience, I could just uh, express how much they have truly uh, benefited me. I don't celebrate holidays, but I know uh, for some reason we've been conditioned <laughs> not to have a consumerism rant, but I don't typically believe in consumerism. But if you're gonna buy something, you know, what do they say? If you buy cheap, you buy twice. So like I said, from personal experience, which I've had much of, uh, it's allowed me some experience in these matters. I've lived off grid. I've lived out of cars. I've lived uh, in three or four different states sometimes within a year. So I've bounced around a lot and it really gave me the ability to trim the fat and I, I guess have a little bit more critical sense when it comes to investments that you make with money. I'm not overly wealthy, and uh, some of the things on the table are very inexpensive. But anyway, I guess we'll just get into it. These are things that I use every single day of my life. Every single day of my life. And from one purchase, that, that, uh, that energy has been reciprocated back into my life completely. So I have some food prep stuff over here. I have some organization and daily utility. I have some comfort stuff here and then I have some like health and hygiene in this little category over here. So again, like I said, I use these things absolutely every single day of my life. I purchase them once and anytime I think about gift giving, I think of something that's going to really benefit the user and not just necessarily be thrown away or discarded because they're not useful. If you, I don't know, if you look at it that way, they, they may uh, come to appreciate them. But anyway, everybody's got different situations going on. This is a kitchen cleaver I bought from Walmart actually fairly recently this one actually has a built-in uh edge sharpener <laughs> uh but yeah pretty much the good thing about a cleaver is really good for food processing i did some upgrades to this so you know like the old paper things from school uh this had was originally 90 degree it's not it messes your cutting board up so I just ground off. So when you're using it, you could actually just feed the food in and use it like one of those old paper cutters. Just basic, uh, but they're really good. You can use them as a spatula, um, obviously food prep, and then you could use them to like scoop up a bunch of stuff, heap it up and then, but yeah, pretty much this takes the place of like three or four different kitchen tools for like 20 bucks, it's stainless steel, which is always a plus, if you ask me. Uh, I use it every single day, pay 20 bucks for it a year ago. Uh, I would take this over anything else in my kitchen, truth be told, so. <laughs> uh, French press. I've had uh, Koo rigs. Actually, sorry, I didn't clean this one. Like I said, I use it every day, but. Um, French press, if you ask me, percolators are really good too. They just take a little bit longer, in my opinion, and you get more grounds, which isn't a big deal. You know, it's like first world problems, but uh, when you're drinking your coffee, you get a little bit more grounds, grounds in there. No biggie. It's not going to hurt you. Uh, but yeah, French press. This is super small. I think it's like two cups. Got it from Walmart. Stainless steel. Uh, yeah. I use it every single day, and in my opinion, it makes the best coffee. It's way better than the Koo Rigs, way better than all those $100 machines, 100 and something dollar machines. And to transport it, 
I've had a bunch of thermoses actually. Let me grab let me grab one that I, that, that one replaced. So this is a little bit larger capacity, but you know, I figure the name, thermos, name brand, and this thing's been through some serious stuff with me. I've dropped it a bunch of times and it comes with a little cup. This is a great thermos. It's a little it's a little too bulky to fit in uh standardized cup holders and stuff. But upon further um research and ins an inspection, um I came across this company called Zo Zoju. They're actually really well known. Zojirushi. I don't know. This is the information. Again, I've had this thing for a few years. This thing is so awesome. It keeps drinks like hot or cold, literally for like two days. It's insane. Uh, use it every single day. So in the morning, I'll make my coffee, put this in here. When I need that little extra boost come noontime or whatever, it is still piping hot. Sorry, it's, you know, I use it every day, so it's not clean. So yeah, if you have somebody who's always on the go, who likes a good uh, tasting coffee, and um, who doesn't really have, I guess, money or a lot of space for like a bunch of different kitchen appliances, a uh, kitchen cleaver, thermos, and a French press. Those would be my, uh, my go-tos. If they don't have one, I can't. Un I can't understand how anybody would not appreciate those those items being gifted to them. So, as we already know, what was that old saying? Uh, a few things are guaranteed: is death and taxes. Well, there's a few other things that are lumped in there. We know for sure there's going to be birthdays. There's going to be holidays. You're going to always have to go to sleep, sleep comfortably. You're always going to have to wake up at a certain time, and you know be organized. So anything that facilitates or helps somebody to be organized, um, in my opinion, again, me personally, it's something that uh, I invest in a lot. I, I take a, a lot of steps to, to constantly be organized in life. Um, so with that being said, New Year's Planner. This one, I don't think it's real leather, but I got this, I think it was at like Target or Walmart. Ready to go. I might have actually, yeah. I might have even put put some uh, New Year's goals in there. What do I got in here? I gotta buy another SUV. Mine's on the fritz. Anyway, <laughs> you get the idea. Organization. If you got a student, um, you know, or, or just anybody, anybody who, who is uh, trying to change, who needs to make an effort to change their life uh, or, you know, they've been working towards something, you know, this might be the little checkered flag that, that, uh, that'll just get them a little bit, uh, you know, more down the road. In my opinion, like I said, I think it was like 30 bucks. These things have benefited me. I mean, it just words can't explain. If you, if you actually use them every day, uh, organization. And then with that, every single day, obviously, if you're writing in that thing, a good writing utensil. You could probably pick these up at like Staples or Walmart. It's just a little bit high end. It's not the plastic one. It's a stainless steel. What is this? If I'm not mistaken, I think this is a Parker. Eh, I particularly like them, you know? If it's something you're going to be interacting with every single day, I'd rather it not be plastic. So, I think 20, 20 bucks for like a, a box of two of these. You know, the little packets of two. I'm sure you can find just something a little bit. I know Zebra makes uh, um, stainless steel options also, but me personally, you know, if you're going to gift them something like that, spend a little bit of extra money and get them something to actually fill, fill it in. Um, a keychain flashlight. This one is made by Nightcore, and it got a little clip, so you can put it on the bill of your, your cap, if you so choose. It's super bright for 
its size and weight, which I really appreciate. But yeah, a keychain flashlight, would be surprised how many people would um, probably overlook it and not be so happy about it as a gift. Well, I mean, they should be grateful for anything, honestly, but... Um, and then, you know, come, come a few weeks or a month down the road, you know, they might realize like, Hey, you know, that's, uh, it's actually always a good thing to have handy. And that's precisely what happened in my life. Uh, <laughs> one day <laughs> I just had a, a keychain flashlight and I realized, you know, I don't think I ever want to go without one again. So this one is a really good investment. What is this thing? It's called the, the tip SE super duper cool little keychain flashlight from uh, Nightcore. Incredibly light, very useful. Um, okay, so these things are a little bit more expensive. These are things that I actually had to, you know, I, I, <laughs> I slept on the floor pretty much like 90% of my life. So I just, I never, I never had an opportunity to to venture into these these types of deals here, but I'm glad that I finally got around to it. But I have really oily skin, um, and I've been doing so much research over the years, and I found uh, that that apparently silk is like one of the only things that can help you with that, you know. Um, so that's what this is. This is a silk. Um, pillowcase and I will say from my personal use from my personal use it really has changed I guess like the chemistry I don't want to say the chemistry but you know what I mean like it helps it helps with um, people who have very very oily skin uh, nothing else really beats it I would have to wash my my cotton pillowcase if I even had one most of the time I just rolled something up like a jacket or something um, and yeah, my face would always break out, but now that I'm older and I'm wiser, yeah, it was, it wasn't cheap though. I think it was like 60 or 70 bucks. They could probably go in or around that maybe more. Um, I've, I've pretty much purchased most of my wardrobe up until lately, uh, just from Goodwill, but this was another pretty expensive item. But it is totally freaking worth it. Like 100% worth it. Uh, it's merino wool. Just basic. This is 100% merino wool, Banana Republic. Um, nothing, in my opinion, beats wool. It's a little difficult to care for, but it wears unlike anything else, any material that I've ever used. And uh, if it was up to me, I would own a lot more of it. Obviously, it's December. It's going to be a little bit chillier in any region you are if you're if you're in America. I know it's way way too cold. Like this probably wouldn't even do you any justice in the Northeast right now. But um, out here where I'm at, this is perfect for the slightly breezier, slightly chillier days. You don't even need a hoodie. But yeah, merino wool and. Uh, and a silk pillowcase. I use them every single day of my life, and they have, uh, they have in increased my quality of life. <laughs> okay. Exponentially increased my quality of life, no doubt about it. I will tell anybody that. All right, so hygiene and fitness. If you... If you know somebody who doesn't really have time or money to go to a gym, like me, um, but they still take it upon themselves to take care of themselves, and you know what I mean, they don't have much room for like a, for like gym equipment, which again has been me for most of my life. Uh, things are changing, thankfully for me. Uh, but these, well, I'll just start with this. Okay, this is called an ab abdominal wheel. Now, if you get one of these and you are out of shape, you can hurt yourself pretty bad. Um, when I was doing a little bit of rehabilitation, uh, you know, like building myself back after years of like neglect, I guess you could say, 
Um, I tried to do what I did with this when I was in my teens and I really injured myself. So you gotta be careful. But if you have somebody who is fit and who has a daily exercise routine and they are very mindful and they don't have one of these, uh, yeah, I think this would be an excellent gift. It fits right into a backpack, right along with my jump rope. I can't even tell you how good of a workout. I don't, you don't need any gym equipment. If you, if you run an ab roller every day, you will have like, you'll have abs like a god. Yo. <laughs> I'm not even joking. It is a full ab workout, literally just by, just by rolling it across the ground. Anyway, enough of that. But yes, uh, abdominal wheel, very small, small investment reaps incredibly ben big benefits and rewards to its user so long as they use it. Um, you know, I always use the traditional toothbrush. Um, I got a little bougie with it and I went uh, with the Philips Sonic Care and I, <laughs> it is just like it's so good, yo. It is so incredibly good. Uh, you know, enough, enough. I can't even, I can't even believe that I've been brushing my teeth like like a peasant all these years. But yeah, that thing is phenomenal. It's it's like a it's like a parts cleaner for like uh car parts. It's got like a sonic frequency it sends to the head and it just it cleans your teeth like equivalent or better than than it would if you were went to like the the full cleaning at a dentist. Phenomenal investment. They are a little pricey. I want to say like 70 to 90 bucks. But Hell yes, 100% worthwhile investment. This is something uh, I like so much that I actually bought one for every person in my family a few Christmases ago. Or maybe not every person, that's an over-exaggeration. But I bought a lot of these and I gave a lot of them away to uh, people that I know who have like, you know, back and neck problems, which... You know, and again, it's it's it works both ways. It's for people who sit all day and who have a labor laborious job. But again, I use this thing every single day, and uh, yeah, obviously it's way better to go to like a spa and spend money and have somebody else rub the knots out for you. But this gives you the option to do it yourself in the comfort of your own home and not have to not have to spend money. But this thing is called the Body Back Buddy. And you can buy variants of this at, uh, at pretty much any sporting goods store or Walmart. They have variants that are just like from here up. But I like this one because it gives you a choice between the pinpoint or uh, or the the ball. Which helps obviously for different parts. But pretty much like obviously you can roll it underneath your shoulder or I mean roll it underneath your armpit or over the shoulder and you can reach parts that obviously only somebody else could reach so this has uh, benefited me greatly in my life uh, this one right here is for the lower back I think you know exactly what I'm talking about this one is for the back of the neck and uh, you know you just go about it. I usually do it as soon as I get out of the shower, pretty much every night when I'm stretching. And uh, yeah, like these are some things, these are items that um, when I'm thinking, these, this is like the, the mindset that I think of. If I'm going to give somebody something um, and it's going to be as useful and effective as it has been in my life, because from first-hand experience. <laughs> I mean, there's a few other items in life. Obviously, you need food, clothing, shelter. But I mean, like, if, if, if I got evicted right now <laughs> and I could only grab a duffel full of stuff, like, these items, 100%, without a doubt, are coming with me, and I still wouldn't feel like like I lost out is pretty much, is pretty much what I'm saying. Anyway, I hope you're all doing all right out there. You know, be safe and, uh, you know, try to be a blessing to others. Don't let, uh, don't, don't always look at what's lacking. I know it's hard, but yeah. Uh, 
happy holidays if you celebrate them. If you can celebrate the holidays, you are blessed beyond your wildest dreams. And um, yeah, just let everybody that you love know that you love them every single day because oof, it is not promised. All right. Adios.